Hey everybody, welcome to my latest video. Today I'm going to do another tutorial on college football revamped. This time we're going to cover the NCAA 14 Dynasty tool. I'm going to show you how to install it, where to get it, which is the pages showing on the screen right now, and I'll show you how to use it. It's neat they combined the two utilities together into this one utility in the latest update. You want to come here to this page, which I will have this web address linked. You want to come down here to the NCAA 14 Dynasty Tool Zip. Click that and download it. Once it's downloaded, I like to cut that and paste it to my desktop so I can find it. Paste it. Okay, then we go back out here. We have the NCAA 14 Dynasty Tool. 1.0 setup. So we're going to run that. If you get this Windows protected warning, just run it anyway. It's safe. I've ran it several times. You want to go ahead and set it to anyone who uses a computer. I would do that unless you got a bunch of different people that use yours, then you might want to do it just for yourself. But to me, this way I can use it whenever I want. We're going to go ahead and install that to our C drive. It's a very quick installation. We'll go ahead and run the tool. Finish. Okay, here's our tool up here. Here's the setup. You can save this or delete it. You don't have to keep it. You can always re-download it. I'm going to go ahead and just mess with that later. Here's our tool. So we can launch this anytime we want. Right now we have it up. Here it is. We want to go ahead and do one thing real quick. We're going to create a new dynasty. I have a test one that I'm running. So we will go ahead and run the test. Or call it test. You can change it to what, any color you want. Here we'll just do purple for the hell of it. And create the dynasty folder. Okay, now when you get in here, this, this is where they've combined everything. You have during the season... You can adjust the top 25 at any stage of the game. And you have the college football playoff bowl season, which you only can do during bowl season, which I will show you shortly. You have a NFL draft declaration. We do this at the player's leaving stage. You got a player progression training results stage. This is cool because it will do a much better training for your players plus some people can regress and everything it's very much more realistic and it keeps track of it over time so you can go back and look at it same with the playoffs and stuff it just won't retrograde back to say you're in season 10 it won't show the stuff before you started using this right now i have a dynasty test dynasty up to bowl season you see i'm at bowl week so that's where we want to be to run the first thing I'll show you. College football playoff and the top 25 editor. So if you want to make sure you know how to get to your save folder. So you have a RSPC3 folder, your emulator folder. If you go up to the dev HDDO folder into your home and then this one here the zero zeros all the zeros with the one go into your save data this is all of your save data I'm using the test league so we want to use the user data file now you want to make a copy of that file I always just put it on my desktop so that's basically a backup which I just stupidly accidentally moved the whole thing there so let's put that back in. We'll copy and paste it. This is basically just backing up your file. So if you get a corruption, you have it where you were at to begin with. I luckily have not had a corruption so far. Knock on wood. Let's deep dive into this dynasty tool that I'm showing you. Let's go ahead and adjust our top 25. We're going to open our tool. You want to go to wherever your emulator's at. Mine's on the desktop. 
under I made a folder PSC emulator wherever you keep yours you want to go into your emulator go to dev HDDO home and then click this zero all zeros in one file go to your save data find your league mine's test so I'm gonna load the user data now I like to copy and paste mine to the desktop as a backup you definitely want to back up your league before you run this to make sure you don't get a corrupted file always back it up I already have a backup on the desktop so let's get rolling so we'll open this this will generate our top 25 looks like we have a lot of SEC teams in here so let's kind of adjust this around a little bit you can move the top 25 or actually you can move the top 126 teams wherever you want them for the top 25 you can do that during the whole season so you have no problem changing it whenever you want but right now we're going to do the custom playoffs so we got Florida number one they're clear number one Georgia's got number two but we're going to move Notre Dame to number two let's keep these uh, playing we got one versus eight two versus seven three versus six and four versus five so let's go ahead and move LSU down to six so we kind of take our SE teams balanced so Florida Michigan Notre Dame Ole Miss Georgia LSU TCU California I like that so we go up here to the top right corner and click the save button that'll save the dynasty file we can go ahead and go back to the main hub now we can go ahead and run our college playoffs so let's get into the college playoff part of it we're going to do eight teams you can do four so we're going to do step one we'll look at step one we're going to open our file again it pops up the same one otherwise you go back to your emulator dev hddo home the 0000001 000 file and then just save data and find your dynasty but let's open up it okay this shows how we change things we have Michigan and Florida TCU California Georgia LSU and Indiana Ole Miss now I set this up this way so we're gonna have us you know we could end up with an SEC championship game but we got like too many SEC teams in here you might diff have a different opinion so you can change it however you want but go ahead and click the right arrow down in the bottom or the arrow down in the bottom right corner click the check mark and then you can change any bowl game you want around that's really cool feature so if you think somebody got shafted like eight and four Clemson should be playing somebody else other than Alabama or whatever you can do that then you click the little right the icon down in the right corner to save the dynasty close it I like to go back here I like to you can take a snapshot I should have just stayed in there and taken the snapshot before I went to the right but you just click the top left corner take a snapshot of that screen I save mine to the desktop so I can find it there it is up here we'll go ahead and open it and there we have it so now we can go look at it easier or you can just keep this screen up and go back and forth once you're in the game to make sure you get to find the right games so I like to back out of my dynasty file reopen it that's just me I don't know if you have to do that or not and then we'll go back over to the bowl or to the schedule now we need to go find these games and either play them or sim them. So we know we have LSU Georgia. So let's go ahead and sim that game. Okay. We have Let's see Ole Miss Notre Dame. Let's go ahead and sim that one. Okay. See. Let 
Michigan, Florida. Stem that one. Okay, then we have TCU, California is the last one we need to find. There it is. Let's go ahead and sim that one. Okay. All right, now we should be up to date in the game. So we want to go back into our dynasty tool. Go back to step two. Reopen our file again. So let's find where our emulator's at. Go down to the dev HDDO folder. The home, the 0001 folder, save data, find your league, mine's test, open that user data again, and here it shows who advanced. So California beat TCU, Florida beat Michigan, or Michigan beat Florida, Notre Dame won, and LSU won. So that's our final four. Go ahead and click the little right icon down in the bottom right corner, the little save button, and close it. And leave this open, or you can take a snapshot so you can look at it. Now we know we want to find Michigan Cal, Notre Dame, LSU. So let's go back to our game. Pull that up. Like I said, I always back out and reload the dynasty. I do not know if that's necessary. I just feel better doing that. So now we're back in. Let's go over to our schedule again. Let's go find... Michigan, California. There it is. Let's sim that. Or you can play it if you want to play out all the games. And then let's find LSU and Notre Dame. Let's sim that. Okay. So that does that. Let's go back to our Dynasty tool. Let's go ahead and go back to step three. Open file. This time it's going to pop up for us. There's our championship game. Michigan at, and LSU in Glendale, Arizona. Let's go down to the bottom right corner. Click the save icon. Save that. Let's go back into our game. And like I said the previous few times, I'm going to back out and go back into my dynasty. Just feel better that way personally. Let's go over to the scores and, and schedule, and we will go down and find Michigan at LSU and sim that game. Okay, now we have Michigan as the national champions. They beat LSU 45 to 28. Now we'll go back to the Dynasty tool again. Open that up. Go back, run step four, open the file. And there it shows Michigan's as the national champion. So we go ahead and take our screenshot. I save it wherever you want. I put mine on the desktop so I can find it. And now we should be able to go back into the game. We'll do that step I keep repeating every time over again. Go back, reload our dynasty. Continue. And now we should go back and see all of our games here. We'll have Michigan, LSU, 45 to 28. Sometimes the scores on the top banners will be different, but don't worry about that. We got... Uh, California beating Miami, Ohio. That'll change back at the end. Result after we sim the bowl season. Yeah, Georgia losing to Cincinnati. So just ignore those scores. Those will resettle themselves out here on the next step. So let's do... Go ahead and go back over. If you have a bowl game left, play it and then advance your week. Go to the bowl results. All right, here's our bowl results. We got Michigan... Over LSU, the national championship. Scores changed a little, but that's okay. Michigan beat California in the playoff. LSU beat Notre Dame in the playoff. LSU beat Georgia. Ole Miss beat, or Ole Miss lost to Notre Dame. And California beat TCU. 
So that rounds out your playoff games. So that was the 18 playoff. To do the 14, you just do a couple different steps shorter. So we'll go ahead and in the playoff part there, we'll go and get into the next feature of the Dynasty tool. I'm going to go back in advance to the end of the season. I'm going to get through all this real quick. Now we want to get to players leaving stage. And we'll do the next part of the dynasty tool. All right, let's go ahead and go back into the dynasty tool. Go to the main menu. Open our test league again. Now we want to go to the season ones, our off season ones. Players leaving stage, the NFL draft declaration. This also handles the training or the transfers and everything. One staple of college football is roster turnover from one season to the next. View all the players leaving their current program, whether the, that be to enter the NFL draft, to graduate, or to transfer to another school. Also view which underclassmen considered foregoing the rest of their eligibility to turn pro, but ultimately decided on returning to the school. So we're at our the players leaving stage. Let's go ahead and open our file. Go into our emulator folder. Dev HDDO home this long one save data and we'll open our ours is called test you would find whichever one's yours open the user data file you might want to copy and paste this to your desktop to have a backup i would always recommend backing it up now this will tell us who decided to leave our team it'll be a more realistic on transfers and everything See, the Hawkeyes have 14 players leaving. We got one declaring early, junior. Tory Taylor went early. And we have pro draft graduation. No transfers here. So let's go ahead and go to a team that might have some transfer. Georgia Bulldogs. I got one person transferring. A freshman right guard. Charles Bryant's leaving the program. So that's kind of cool. Let's see if Alabama's got anybody leaving. Nope, nobody's transferring there. Wildcats, Arizona, none. So it'll give you a realistic transfer porthole. So if you got two good quarterbacks, there's a good chance you might lose one running this program. So now we want to go back to the game. We get back to our dynasty hub here. I want to go back to the game and, and advance to the training results stage. And this will run the last feature of the Dynasty tool. Training results, we're going to advance to that. We're at the training results stage. Now let's go back to the Dynasty tool. We're going to open this up, open the Dynasty file. Of course, you'd go through the same steps we had previously. But every once in a while, bring it up to the right one. Let's pull that up. Now, if you don't, if you're not in the right spot, it won't let you run this file. So we know we're in the right spot. And this is a really cool tool. This will actually progress or regress your players on real, on a more real basis. And it's a really cool tool to have to use. Doesn't take too long to run, but this will also keep track of this forever, just like the other one, the draft declaration. The whole 60 seasons, it'll keep track of this. So you can break this down by how much speed did someone gain or whatever, or by position. You want to see your quarterbacks, what you got coming back. It breaks everything down. You want to see who gained the most agility. You click that. You can scale down here. You can see that some people do regress. See if we have an overall regression. Yes, we do have some regressions in overall. You got very good. You got pro potential, A for this, facilities. It shows you all this stuff in here. 
coaching and all that. And you can click and go to any team you want, say the Houston Cougars. You can check them out. So this is a really cool tool to make things very realistic. And it will keep track of it too. So we'll go back to the Dynasty Hub and look at our history. Show our playoff history. It'll show Michigan as a national champion. And we can go back and show our progression history. Maybe that's not showing up yet because I haven't saved it. I don't know. But it will show up there. There it goes. It just took a second. So for that year, everything's saved. We can go back to history and draft history. There's all of our players. So it'll save it for as long as you do the dynasty. It's really cool. I recommend this utility tool for you guys to use and play around with it. Even if it's just to adjust your top 25 or whatever. It's really cool. This is a brand new version of it. So everything's in one. It used to be two different apps. So pretty neat. I appreciate you guys watching the video. If this helped you at all, please comment and tell the, tell everybody that it helped you. Hit that sub if you haven't. I really appreciate everything. I hope I'm helping you guys be able to enjoy this game that I love so much. We'll catch you on the next